Hello students, in the previous uh, part 5 video, we have seen Mendel's first law that is law of dominance. In that law, we have seen when homozygous uh, pure for their genotypes are crossed, parents are crossed, then in the first generation, all the offsprings expressed only the dominant characteristic feature. Now, what happened in the F2 generation? Mendel has observed appearance of some of the phenotypic characters that are related to dominant parent in the F2 generation. Then it was concluded that though the factors of the or the alleles that are expressed in the F1 generation, that is because of not mixing up of the alleles or the factors, but those factors or the alleles just they stood together and they got segregated or separated in the F2 generation. That we will write in the form of a sentence here. In F2 generation, Mendel has observed appearance of appearance of dominant dominant phenotype phenotype or character as if that of F1 generation and also and also recessive character which was not visible in the F1 generation which was not visible in F1 generation. Then we can conclude that alleles did not uh, get mixed up. Then it was concluded some factors which are responsible for inheritance which are responsible for inheritance did not mix up but they all stood up together and got segregated and got segregated in F2 generation. In F2 generation. Now, this total concept was explained with Mendel's second law, that is, law of segregation or Mendel's second law. Mendel's second law. How can we see this one in the form of a definition? So, the allelic pair of a hybrid that is segregated or separated during the formation of gamete and that during formation of new gamete, it received only one of the two factors and are those two factors are pure for their genetic trait. Now, see the definition clearly. The allelic pair in a hybrid gamete, in a hybrid, in a hybrid, segregated or separated during gamete formation, and those new gametes, those new gametes received only one of the two factors of a pair, of a pair and are considered as, are considered as pure for a genetic trait a genetic trait. This second law is also called as law of purity of gametes. This law is also called as means Mendel's second law or law of segregation also called as law of 
purity of gametes law of purity of gametes now what example can we take this uh, to explain this mendel's second law so example taken is again monohybrid cross monohybrid cross here we can see the best example likewise in the first thing what happened we have taken the parents which are nothing but homozygous dominant crossed with homozygous recessive parent now we also have seen the obtaining of parental gametes like gamete has obtained only one allele that only we have written the new gametes received only one of the two factors of a pair this is a pair of alleles but in the gamete we have got only one allele or one factor like this this we can consider as a best example to explain the definition we have to see what happened in the f2 generation because in the first law we have seen only up to f1 generation means first filial generation now in if you see again the cross f1 generation f1 generation we have got all the offsprings as heterozygous okay so here all are of uh, means uh, genotypically heterozygous and phenotypically all are expressing uh, the dominant allele and the recessive allele when we self cross f1 heterozygous offsprings f1 heterozygous offsprings we used to get so means the heterozygous offspring which is obtained in the f1 generation is self crossed with each other now when we arrange this one in the form of a punnett square this one we also according to mendel's second law we also said that gametes got uh, separated so like this both the heterozygous alleles got separated into separate gametes like this let's draw the f2 generation punnett square let's represent the dominant and recessive alleles in the punnett uh, square or checkerboard so here instead of getting uh, means uh, all tall plants here in in f2 generation mendel has observed the recessive one also so in f2 generation in f2 generation the recessive character or phenotype also appeared also appeared as if parent as if recessive parent as if recessive parent so by this he got some conclusion that some uh, factors or elements according to mendel's uh, language regarding the genes some factors or alleles which are responsible for so and so phenotypic character got separated in the f2 generation and then they are expressed now because in law of dominance and law of segregation we have seen only one type of character and we have taken only one type of character for our explanation and we started doing that but when two different characters are seen in the offsprings got transmitted from the parents because in mendel's time mendel did not uh, uh, do any lab experiments and he did, he don't know about the genotypes but mendel gave everything the concept and the contributions based on the phenotypic characters only that we should remember third one law of independent assortment independent assortment this is considered as the third law and this law is applicable for the genes on on which are on different chromosomes this sentence is considered as an mcq this law is applicable for genes or alleles 
on different chromosomes different chromosomes this one you can remember as an mcq which law is applicable uh, for uh, genes on different chromosomes according to inheritance we can answer mendel's third law that is law of independent assortment now this law is based on dash again another mcq we can consider this is based on dihybrid cross dihybrid cross now what is meant by dihybrid cross see when we are considering only one type of character it can be one of any of the seven either height or flower position etc and etc but when we are talking by mixing up of two different characters like it can be of height of the plant or color of the flower or it can be height of the plant or shape of the seed or it can be height of the plant or with uh, that of uh, uh, color of the seed and it can be height of the plant with the um, position of the flower etc and etc so we can mix up any two characteristic features or phenotypes and we can explain this law of independent assortment so we will see what is dihybrid cross so dihybrid cross is a cross between two pure parents that are differing that are differing differing in two pairs two pairs of contrasting characters of contrasting characters contrasting characters now this one we can say as one type of definition because i told you there are different modes of explanations and definitions for uh, explaining uh, this loss first one in the first law of dominance i gave you two types of uh, definitions also now we also see or third law or this uh, law of independent assortment states that third law states that the allele of two different genes got uh, sorted into gametes independent of one another now third law states that the alleles of two different parents we can write or gene forms got sorted into gametes into gametes independent of each other independent of each other this one is also considered as second type of explanation for law of independent assortment now another type of definition is also there that also we will see now when a dihybrid form of gametes with assortment of alleles means the gametes containing two different types of alleles that alleles are of different traits in the sense uh, that are having a different types of genotypes and are expressing different types of phenotypes also they that gamete is independent of the original combination of the parents so we will see one of the best example under dihybrid cross which is given according to ncrt that is shape of the seed versus color of the seed now shape of the seed is uh, given with the genotypes that we have given but ben mendel did not give this genotypic ratio Uh, but uh, we are uh, for our convenience we are explaining by taking the allele forms there are these two pairs there are two pairs of alleles one is responsible for one pair of allele is responsible for dominance so the dominant uh, phenotypic character of the shape of seed right in the print line okay now uh, dominant phenotypic trait is a round shape of the seed dominant trait or character or the phenotype is round shaped round shaped c this pair is the genotype of wrinkled shape of the seed now now color of the seed this pair of alleles are responsible for dominant feature 
dominant feature or trait with yellow color of the seed yellow color which is considered as a dominant color for the seed now this small y small y representation or the allele pairs are responsible for green color of the seed of seed we are taking two different characteristic features for our explanation now let's take two this uh, two uh, types of these phenotypic characters as parents and do the cross so these are considered as the parents now let's separate or sort out the gamete forms of these now we are writing here parental gametes parental gametes how did i take this one for suppose if the arrangement of alleles are like this on uh, one chromosome means which are one is responsible for uh, uh, dominant and recessive alleles like this i am crossing this one like capital r small r again another one capital r small r capital r small r means dominant allele recessive allele these heterozygous form of allele distribution only i have written here here also we can do the same like this so we have got here one type of gamete or allele distribution into the gametes here also one type but the total number of gametes overall when uh, obtained are eight in a number but here the types of uh, uh, gametes are only two that i'll write here types of gametes when taken or when compared two parents are two in number total number of gametes obtained number of gametes obtained are eight or when we try to obtain the f1 generation we have to means combine or uh, fuse these two different type of gametes from two different pairs now if i write this in the form of a punnett square how does this look like we have to write first of all i will draw the board one gamete another gamete so here we are getting both dominant allele forms they stood together okay means they are getting expressed independent of each other here in a sense r is dominant for its shape of the seed y is dominant for its color of the seed but both are obtained in the same offspring means the plant which is uh, showing here the type of phenotypic character are the seeds in that plant are showing round color of the seed and yellow color of the seed both are dominant characteristic features so so here we are seeing all same type of alleles we can write answer for this as all obtained f1 offsprings are 
expressing are expressing a round shape of seed shape of seed this one we can also write like this in any expression is correct only and yellow color of seed color of seed since we know that capital r which i have written here is nothing but the expression of the dominant allele small r is expression of the recessive allele and dominant means which is suppressing the other type of its contrasting genotype and recessive means the one which is getting suppressed in presence of its another contrasting uh, allele form so here if we fill also we will get the same thing If we come to the phenotypic ratio, phenotypic ratio of F1 generation of dihybrid cross, we have to represent like dominant is to recessive, is to recessive. Since all offsprings in F1 generation are showing expression of a, a round shaped seed with yellow color, we are writing 16 number of offsprings that are obtained here, no recessive. Uh, I mean, expression of the alleles is seen. So, the ratio will be 16 is to 0. Coming to genotypic expression, the ratio will be all are having one dominant allele of the uh, shape of the seed, one recessive allele of the shape of the seed, another dominant allele for the color of the seed, another dominant allele of the color of the seed. So, here all we got capital R, small r, this one, capital Y, small y only we get these are 16 in number and we did not get any of the parent type like this capital r cap, small r capital y small y that type of genetic expression we did not see here in f1 generation we know that for obtaining f2 generation we have to self cross all the f1 offsprings things are self crossed self crossed so that one we can write as Let's sort out the gametes from this. So, F1 generation gametes. This one we can write as capital R, capital Y in one gamete. No. Capital R, small y in another gamete. Small R, capital Y in one gamete. Small R, small y in another gamete. Now, here also the same thing. So, the gametic distribution is like this here. Since we don't have sufficient place for this one, I am erasing this uh, gametic forms and I am writing directly the Punnett square. Here we can write one best example, uh, an MCQ like. Okay, so this is the expression of the gametes. So here if you write one on MCQ, the types of gametes, gametes from heterozygous, from heterozygous AF1 generation, types of gametes are how many types? One, two, three, four. Four different types we have seen are four. This one you can learn as an MCQ. Now, number of gametes that are obtained. Number of gametes that are obtained are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 number of gametes. These both you can learn as an MCQ. We have seen uh, just before the different types of uh, expression of the gametes. That I am directly writing in Punnett square to explain the F2 generation. So, F2. these both are crossed. So, we have obtained different types of gametes. One is capital R, capital Y capital R, small y, recessive allele, dominant allele, again, recessive allele, recessive allele. Here also like dominant allele, dominant allele, dominant allele, recessive allele, recessive allele, dominant allele, recessive allele, recessive allele.
see though both are uh, considered as the dominant character expressing alleles or the allele pairs both are seen in same plant it means that the dominant alleles though they are together in a same plant they are expressing themselves independently according to the definition of the dihybrid cross we can write this one This is the condition about the different types of genotypes that are obtained in the F2 generation. Now we will sort out some MCQs from this distribution of gametes and also obtaining of the offsprings. Now, for suppose, if we ask a question, total number of total number of offsprings, total number of offsprings, the answer will be 16 according to this distribution and obtaining of the gametes. Now. How many of the offsprings are expressing their genotypic character or genotypic allele distribution similarly exactly like that of parents? Genotypic exactly like that of parents, not F1 parents. The, the first parents which we have taken just before the F1 generation. Those are only two in number. That also we will write. The number of offsprings that are having genotypes exactly like that of original parents before F1 generation, before F1 generation. Now the answer, now the answer will be what are those two? This one. Capital R, capital R, capital Y, capital Y. Two dominant uh, different types of alleles. Now, this one also. This is also another type which are expressing the parents. Not the F1, parent, F1 generation because here uh, some doubts will be coming to the students. Madam, we have taken this one as parents. No, we did the F2 generation. So, I am asking you the question very clearly. The having, the number of offsprings having because these are the offsprings that are obtained by self-crossing of F1. Okay, we can consider now as parents. But clearly I have represented here original parents before F1 generation. So the answer will be two. What are those exactly? These two are expressing like that of the first type of, uh, of parental of uh, parental type which are having this type of genotype expression. So those number is two. Now let's write another MCQ. How many of them are phenotypically expressing a round shape of the seed with the yellow color of the flower? That we will see. Round shaped with yellow color of the seed. How many are there? So this one, one, two, because here there is one dominant allele of both the uh, different types of phenotypic characters. Three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9. That number is 9. Now, how many of them are expressing? According to the gametes, first of all, we will see. A round with a green color C. A round shape with green color seed. How many are there? A round shape with green color. So, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, six seven eight nine this one we have seen just before now round shaped with the green color we can write one two three so their number is three 
they are not like that of parent parent is having phenotypically round shaped yellow color expression now another one here this is a wrinkled shape of the seed with a yellow color one two three so another phenotypic character a wrinkled shape of seed with yellow color with yellow color how many uh, are there the number so one two three so that is three in number now if we see the last one wrinkled shape of the seed with a green color fourth one wrinkled shape with green color answer is only one so here round shape with yellow color nine round shape with green color three wrinkled shape with yellow color three wrinkled shape of the seed with green color one only from this numbers we can easily frame out the phenotypic ratio of f2 generation of dihybrid cross phenotypic ratio is how many round yellow nine just i have given explanation about those uh, round and yellow etc next round with a, uh, a green color seed three again wrinkled with a yellow color three next wrinkled with a green color one so the phenotypic ratio of f2 generation of dihybrid cross is nine is to three is to three is to one now Coming to genotypic ratio. Here we can write this type of allele is only one. So one is two. This type of allele is capital R with capital Y. How many are there? One and two. So we can write this one. Two is two. So how many of such type of alleles are there? Capital Y. Okay. Capital R small r, capital Y small y. How many are there? One again. Again, two only. This one. See, this one and this one. I am writing as again two. Now, capital R. This one. One, two, three, four. So that is four. Now, so we have finished this, 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 and this. This also we finished. This also we finished. This also. This also. How many are left over? The remaining one. Capital R, capital R, small y, small y. No. So only one type of capital R, capital R, small y, small y. This also we have finished. Now the genotypes, allele uh, pairs, how they are? Capital R, small r, small y, small y. So again, these are two in number. So this also we have finished. Now coming to wrinkled shape. How many are small r, small r, capital Y, capital Y? Again one. So this we have finished. Cap small r small r capital Y small y how many again t two number now the last one is one with a wrinkled shape means small r small r small y small y that is one so we can frame out this one here I have written as one is to two is to two is to four is to one is to two is to one is to two is to one this one we can easily frame out like this one we can bring here I can flip one end is to this one also I can flip like this. 2 is to 4. Just for our convenience to remember. Likewise, we can now uh, explain this one as 1 is to 2 is to 1. 2 is to 4 is to 2. 1 is to 2 is to 1. I did not change any of the numbers in the ratio. Just I have flipped for our uh, remembering uh, uh, means uh, expression. Okay. 1 is to 2 is to 1. 2 is to 4 is to 2. Again, 1 is to 2 is to 1. Like this, we can easily remember. Now, we will see another type of allele forms. How they are asked as MCQs now. In this, the parental phenotypes round and yellow are 9 in a number. Now I will tell some of the MCQ models here, which there is a possibility to ask the questions from.
Okay, now let's take round shape with yellow color of the seed are nine we have written here. So nine are of a parental phenotypically. Then what about this round is to green color of the seed. These are considered as the recombinants. Recombinants. Another one also. Wrinkled shape with yellow color of the seed. These are also considered recombinants. How many are recombinants? 3 is to 3. Totally 6. Totally 6 offsprings out of the 16 are considered as the recombinants. Now, if a question was asked like... What is the percentages of different types according to the phenotype 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. That we will write here. So, the recombinants. So, coming to percentages of phenotype ratio. That is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. We know that the total offsprings are 16. Offsprings are 16. So, if we do a little bit mathematical calculation here. Since 16 is considered as the 100 percentage. What about the 9 number of offspring? What will be the percentage here? If we do cross multiplication like this. We can express this one as 9 into 100 divided by 16. We will get an answer if you do calculation. 56.25 percentage of offsprings out of the total 16 are considered to be having round shape of the seed with the yellow color of the seed or cotyledon. In the same way, if you do calculation, since 16 is considered as the uh, 100 percentage, what about the recombinant, first three, round shaped with the uh, green color uh, seed? What will be the percentage of the three number of uh, recombinants? So here again the question mark. Answer will be, if you do calculation, you do later, but I am writing directly the answers here by doing this small type of uh, calculation which I have shown for the 9 number of round and yellow shaped one. This also will be of 18.75 percentage. Now, the last one that is a wrinkle shape with a green color seed. How, what is the percentage? If you do calculation like this, 16 if we consider as 100 percentage, what is the ratio of one number of the offspring that is showing either dominant or either recessive one? Purely. So, this is about the percentages you can learn for your MCQs. Now, we can frame out one more uh, uh, means uh, concept regarding this dihybrid ratio that is new combination in F2 proves the law of independent assortment because all the dom though the dominant alleles are side by side they are getting expressed independently. Next at this law uh, as this law is applicable only for the traits on different chromosomes this law is not universally applicable because we have seen some types of expressions in the F2 uh, generation means when we are self-crossing the F2 basing on the F1 offsprings. We cannot say the crossing happens only between the chromosomes which are uh, alleles which are on same chromosome uh, sorry alleles which are on different chromosomes. So now that I will give one more sentence. Uh, please learn these sentences uh, for your MCQ statements also that will be very much useful. Now new combinations. of F2 generation F2 generation proves the law of independent assortment now this can be you can uh, this can be a good statement to learn for your mcq point as this law as this law is applicable is applicable for alleles or genes on different chromosomes on different chromosomes only it is not universally applicable it is not universally applicable we have seen law of dominance also not universally applicable but law of segregation is universally applicable. Now we have seen three different laws. In those three different laws, law 1 and law 3 are not universally applicable. But second law, that is law of segregation, is universally applicable law. Next, about a trihybrid cross. Now, one more MCQ I will tell and I will close the class. Now, 
another mcq we can learn types of genotypes simply genotype number we will write genotype number in f2 of dihybrid or if a question was confusingly asked as types of genotypes in f2 of a dihybrid then also the answer is we have got just before if you go back and see the video 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to 2 is to again 1 is to 2 is to 1 this one you can learn in your uh, by framing your own small logics okay so how many types 1 2 3 4 yes i am not counting the numbers i am telling the types 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so genotypically what is the number nine types of a different arrangement of alleles this one you can learn as an mcq okay so here i have finished up to the dihybrid cross of uh, mendel by taking uh, mendel's uh, uh, means the third law uh, law of independent assortment example and i have explained i think i have covered all the mcq models also even the new students who are learning genetics for the first time will easily understand this type of explanation we will see about trihybrid cross and also different types of crosses like a test cross, back cross, reciprocal cross, types of crosses in the next video.